What's up, everyone? Letty here with another pick a card reading. The reading was requested, okay, by somebody. The reading is going to be titled for today, How to Strengthen Your Intuition, okay? So keep in mind, um, when doing your intuition, when talking about your intuition, a lot of people don't know what that is, okay? So let's go over it really quickly. Your intuition is that deep down thing in your gut that tells you the truth, okay? For it tells you what tells you what something is. For women, uh, I always call it my spidey sense, okay? Look at what comes up. The hanged man, okay? Pisces, I'm a Pisces, okay? Um, you don't have to be, but in order to strengthen your intuition for divination, what I like to do is I like to tell people, go with your first gut instinct, and a lot of times it's what you don't want to say, okay? Not to be blunt or rude or rash, okay? But it's whenever you're reading cards or you're channeling, it's that thing that sometimes you may not be comfortable with saying, but spirit may want you to say, okay? So first of all, a lot of people don't know how to pick um, with their intuition, pick a card readings, okay? Sometimes they go by the props, sometimes they go by the numbers. Me personally, when I do a pick a card reading, the first number I hear is what I go by. Okay, now I am clear audience. I do realize that not everybody's clear audience, so I do want to help you guys, okay, with um, tuning up these gifts, okay, and listening further into your intuition. Okay, so if you're ever walking down the street, something inside you tells you turn around, walk it the other way, that's what I do. Okay, I don't care who's around. I don't care what's around. I listen to that gut instinct. Okay, and it's kept me safe for lots of my years. Okay, keep in mind, uh, I was in the military. Okay, so I've been in a lot of harmful situations over my life. I am here in Chicago. Chicago is a very rough place to grow up. If you don't know much about Chicago, uh, look at what's on the news, okay? Not to say that that's a great representation of our city. There's a lot of good stuff in our city, but yeah, to grow up in Chicago, you got to use your intuition, okay? So Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please help me with this pick a card reading. Piles one, two, and three. Bring some sage here. I ask that only the divine and of the white light are here, spirits of the divine light, and my ancestors. So Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please help me with how to strengthen my intuition. Go ahead and breathe in. Breathe out. First number you hear is your pile, okay? So if you pick pile number one, these are your cards, okay? I asked, who are you? Pile number one, Awen. Gift, divine inspiration, awakening. 41, four plus one is a five, okay? I'm getting that you are just starting to awake, awaken. Your gifts are just starting, okay? We got here, gift, divine inspiration, and awakening. Again, the number five is about change. So you may started you may have just recently started to get awakened, okay? You may have dark features and light skin, okay? Male or female, doesn't matter, long hair, okay? So let's get some more specifics. You may be a Sag, okay? You may be a Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, guys, doesn't matter. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Okay, pile number one, you may be a Cancer. Okay. You may be a Pisces. You may be an Aries. Okay, let's see some more specifics. Oh, not the link. Whatever you think it is. <laughs> I honestly thought I had put something on this, but I guess I didn't. So. 
this is you whatever you know in your spirit okay again this is about trusting your intuition whatever you're feeling as i'm picking up these cards that's you if you pick pile number one okay you need meditation okay so just as i directed you to go ahead and breathe in and breathe out you may just need some more meditation in order to hone your inspiration okay let's see who else are you okay fox one plus four is five we got synchronicity again the number five again five is the number of change it may be your life path number it may not okay the fox the fox is sly a friend is two someone may try to deceive you with wily glances the renard snaps evade deception and beware of old traps okay so we are talking about intuition here a lot of times animals do use your in, their intuition okay they stay away from people they do not like okay especially people who they think will deceive them okay that may be your lesson in this life okay always trust your intuition please especially when dealing with others i'm gonna go ahead and pull some regular Rider Waite Tarot, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please give me a channeled message and or a card for pile number one. Okay, we got the Five of Cups. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio may mean something to you, may not. Okay, this is about sadness and loss. Okay. If you're sad or if you lost someone, I do apologize. Okay, this is all somebody, somebody in a cloak. Okay, somebody who I'm seeing doesn't believe in their gifts. Okay, maybe because of sadness or loss. Okay, you always got to remember with this card, there are still two good and full cups here. Don't look at the bad. All right, just pay attention to the good. Okay, let's get another one. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel. Please give me one more card for pile number one. How to strengthen your intuition. Okay, we got here Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're gonna have to work at it, okay? Um, there's a number of things I do to strengthen my intuition. Tarot was one of them. I've been reading tarot since I was 15. Um, I am Claire Audion. That just recently came last year when I was reading somebody's cards, okay? That's a very new gift for me, okay? Um, your gifts will come after much ascension, much, much reading, much learning, okay? So Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? If you came for pile number one, that was your reading. Thank you very much. Go ahead and leave comments in the comments down below. Also, leave me recommendations for some more Pick a Pile readings. I have a whole list here of stuff I'm working on, okay? Thanks again. That was pile number one. If you came to this pick a card reading, the question was pile number two, how to strengthen your intuition. Okay, pile number two. You got the wizard, six. One plus five is six, the wizard. Ruin king, wise one, counselor. Okay, so you may be an earth sign, you may be grounded, okay? I'm getting right here, number six, I am a life path six. Very intuitive, okay? You may be a water side, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Doesn't have to be, okay? Ruin King, Wise One, Counselor. People are gonna come to you if they don't already, okay? That's why your intuition is very, very important for you. Okay, next card, we got Libra. Okay, let's see if you can see that, Libra, okay? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. 
Next card, Scorpio. Okay, again, you might be a water sign. Next card, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Okay. All right. We got that motherfucker's jealous. So you may have people around you that don't want you to hone in on your gifts. Okay. This is specific for pile number two. You may have lots of haters. Okay. Don't worry about it. Keep doing your, your stuff. Keep learning. Because you are going to be a counselor one day. People are going to come to you. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you may be a Gemini. Let's see, what do you have to do specifically, okay? To strengthen your intuition, you need to learn tarot, okay? If you need to learn tarot, hit me up. Um, I will start doing a tarot class. Um, again, with tarot, I think intuition is about 80% of tarot. You can learn the cards, you can learn the meanings, but what changes tarot is the other cards that are down and what you're feeling, okay? I'm a Pisces, so I go very much on my intuition and my feelings when I pull cards, okay? So you just may need to practice and may need to pull some more cards, maybe buy some more cards as well, okay? We got here for Lenormand, number four, okay? We got here the house. A stately house beyond the gate bestows stability upon your fate. In love and play, your chance to win depends on how you first begin. The house. So for you, I'm getting that um, stability is big for you. Number four is about stability. Okay. All right. You need some place where you can go, where you can be away from the haters and you could just be secluded, okay, to learn your stuff. Now, because of COVID-19, I mean, most of the world is in their house anyway. So take this time, okay? Apply yourself to learning. If you need to learn tarot, okay? Again, we got Gemini. You got haters around you, okay? Maybe a Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra. And you got the number six, the wizard. Ruin King, wise one, counselor. Okay, let me go ahead and pull some tarot for you for pile number two. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, please give me a card for pile number two, how to strengthen their intuition. Okay, you got here three of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, um, this is about waiting for your ships to come in. It'll come. Okay, be patient when it comes to your intuition. Okay, be looking out to the horizon because it's gonna come soon is what I'm hearing. Next card, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please give me one card, okay? I'm getting told to stop. The High Priestess, okay, Pisces. This is she who knows. As I stated in the beginning of the video, your intuition is just that gut feeling. That first thing you hear, that first thing you feel. Don't question it, don't ask yourself. Just go by the first thing you hear, even if it's uncomfortable, okay? When I'm reading somebody's cards, if somebody's husband's cheating on them, I use discretion. But if I see it, I say it, okay? Let's go ahead and get you another card. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please give me one card. Okay, Death, Scorpio. Again, I'm getting a lot of water sign here, okay? This is about rebirth, transformation. You may be in a cycle right now where things are changing. Okay, study as much tarot as you can, as many oracle decks as you can. Okay, now's a great time. If you came for pile number two, thank you for coming. Go ahead and let me know in the description box below if it resonates. Also, if it doesn't resonate, that's fine. Please just let me know, okay? You came for pile number two that is your pile okay pile number three if you came for pile number three you got here the green man 34 three plus four is seven may mean something to you may not might be your life path number the green man initiative 
fertilization action. Okay, I'm hearing you might be an earth sign. Okay, doesn't have to be though. Next card, we got the Lenormand card. 30, we got lilies. Okay. Lilies are white, green leaves surround. The outlook is bright and passion is abound. When this card rests higher, it means good disposition. The card resting lower is a dubious position. Okay. So again, this is very similar to this card. Okay. This is all about fertilization, planting something. Okay. And watching it grow. Okay, so you may be a earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm feeling with this deck more than the others. Okay. Again, three plus four is seven. And you got a three here, 30. Okay. Let's get specifics. You might be a Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Doesn't have to be. Okay. You might have dark hair. Doesn't have to be. Again, this is a general reading. You may be an Aquarius, okay? You're the protector, you're the provider, okay? This is gonna help you with your intuition. A lot of times mothers are nurturers, but they also have to protect their babies, okay? As I said earlier, a lot of times women, not, not excluding the men, okay? This may also be a masculine card, okay? But you're the protector and the provider. You have to be highly intuitive for that. Okay, next card, we got Virgo. Okay, so how are you gonna strengthen your intuition? You need Reiki. Okay, so Reiki is energy transfer. Okay, let me know if you need Reiki. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my email address in the description box. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some cards for you. Okay, Archangel Michael. Angel Gabriel, please go ahead and give me one card for pile number three, the moon. So the moon is Cancer, Pisces. This is all about deception, all about fears, okay? It's all about the moonlight, the moods in the moonlight, okay? It's a highly intuitive card. It's about secrets, okay? So if you ask yourself, what is divination? Basically, we're asking the divine to bring forth knowledge. Next card, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, pile number three. We got here King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Usually this is a nurturing man, can be a regal man, a very stable man, okay? He doesn't show all his moods all the time, but he is highly emotional, okay? He just doesn't show it. Okay, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we got here. We also got a lot of Virgo. We got Reiki. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer and Pisces. Dark hair. We got Aquarius. Leo. The lilies and the green man. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. I hope you liked it. I hope it resonated with you. If not, please leave me comments in the description, comments down below. And thank you for coming. Bye-bye.